Hi everyone, I'm Ginevra, I'm a physics student and my specialization is about quantum technologies. Come with me to the IQOQI summer school that basically is the summer school for celebrating 20 years of the Institute of Quantum Optics and Quantum Information in Innsbruck and Vienna. So I started my journey from Rome and then I went to my basically college city Munich and then from Munich I went to Vienna on Sunday because the school would have start in on Monday the very first day we just go and visited a bit of the city it was not my first time here in Vienna and I still remember a lot of the city even if it's been a while I want to say that Vienna is probably one of my favorite city uh, and at the end I want to say that we went to a very good Korean restaurant that is uh, near the main square in Vienna where you have the cathedral. I'm sorry but I'm like terrible with names. After like we stay a bit together with all the people of the summer school uh, because we wanted to know each other. I got ready for the very first day and I have lectures about quantum uh, coordinates and relativity of superposition and for me it was super exciting because it was the first time that I heard more about this topic that is basically combining quantum uh, and uh, general relativity. Uh, then after a quick break we had the same but in experiments so was quantum sources of gravity in experiments. I I'm going to write down at the end or maybe in the description is better the name of the professors and also like their talk so you can actually see uh, what they are like uh, researching and was uh, interesting that they did also um, discussions between the two professors who give the talk. Uh, then we had another coffee break and another lectures why quantum theory and then a table uh, top uh, quantum gravity theory a status report lecture. The day ended with the poster session with this incredible view uh, where we actually meet each other a bit more because we had this break uh, and so on but was great and we went eating uh, Italian at the end even if I usually don't eat Italian food abroad, posting the, his poster in a random place in Vienna and was super cool, I would say. The second day, other uh, lectures, and I also had kind of the possibility to see the city around, especially the University of Vienna, that is very nice. Uh, I really like the campus, and also we went to this library and we went to this park where they have some like uh, physics experiments so for example this tunnel where you can uh, hear uh, the other person that is uh, far from you. The lectures they were about quantum non-locality also some of the lectures that we had the previous day the day before because in Vienna they decided basically to divide the two days and divide the lectures between the two days that we had. I missed the lab tour in Vienna but I had the opportunity opportunity to visit a lab of, I would say, like the head of the student club that I'm in, Push Quantum, because he's now doing his PhD in Vienna, so we had, thanks to him, the opportunity to visit his lab. Then we go back and at the end we had this uh, dinner all together for celebrating our time in Vienna and we had typical Austrian dishes and then uh, the day after I get have 
very early to go back to Munich, go to Innsbruck. I really love uh, this, uh, like uh, in Italian we say auto grill, like uh, when you are on the road and you stop for uh, eating and buy small uh, things in uh, these uh, typical shops like uh, souvenirs. We just go quickly to the hostel and then we go around the city because we had a bit time but I would say that like uh, I was truly like on another planet because I was truly like um, kind of uh, tired because of the travel so I still enjoy it uh, a lot because it, this book is very incredible I would say it's like a bijou and we went to this uh, very good restaurant and I wanted also to say that in Innsbruck was also a time that I feel I was uh, in Harry Potter like those vibes uh, like in Diagonal Day. I don't know why maybe it was a bit the rain and a bit the fact that it was kind of like uh, I don't know those uh, autumn vibes uh, something like that we go back to our hostel and we played um, mini soccer so in Italian would be calcio balilla or biliardino and the day after we go to the institute for quantum optics uh, and uh, quantum information I wanted to try to say that in German a bit far from the city center mm, compared to Vienna where basically the faculty of physics is like in the city center the first day we had as lectures quantum anybody physics and quantum computing with neutral atoms then ultra called atoms and Fermi gas experiment and then was the time where we had to also go and hang up our posters so my very first poster session like that I'm going to give a talk about my poster and also to answer two questions so I was excited for it and I couldn't wait then we had another lectures about dipolar quantum gases was interesting because they give us uh, some quick thoughts by postdocs about what they are actually doing in the lab so it was amazing to heard more about the research of this incredible incredible institute then we had the poster session itself and um, a pizza that was good I want to say as a, an Italian basically the day after uh, we had the last lectures that were about measurement induced phase transition in quantum and body systems superconductive quantum circuits the quantum way of doing computation and then we finished with a lab tour that I unfortunately couldn't take a video of because my phone just died uh, before going into the labs uh, and the last day was kind of sad because we were like literally enjoying so much our time uh, uh, in this summer school we learned a lot and it was super interesting to connect about other uh, physics students that are quantum enthusiasts as me so I would really enjoy it and we enjoy so much our time in Innsbruck also uh, with this uh, incredible view for example of this uh, uh, 360 degree bar and I also wanted to go to the main shop of Swarovski in the city center that was I remember um, had all the possible Swarovski that you can uh, ever imagine and then yeah I will finish with uh, some pictures that they sent to us from the labs in Innsbruck. I truly hope you enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed the summer school of the Institute of Quantum Optics and Quantum Information of Innsbruck and Vienna and I want to say that sadly I couldn't uh, I didn't have the time to stay a bit longer in Innsbruck because there will be their 20 years old celebration with a very big conference I don't even know how many Nobel prizes in physics there will be because basically in 2020 to Anton Zeilinger won the Nobel Prize for Physics and he is an Austrian quantum physicist and he's, the, he's a senior scientist at the, this institute himself so they were going to celebrate a lot for uh, this uh, very big event. I think you kind of remember him. He worked on the fundamental aspect and application of quantum entanglement but maybe you know him also because on the internet uh, they were like like uh, uh, so much I would say conspirational theories that uh, everyone was saying that we are all connected we are all entangled this I don't know and maybe I don't think but I feel 
that during this summer school we truly have very good connections of both with the institute, professors, researchers and we students that attended it. So I truly enjoy it and I hope they will organize something also in the next period and I will join to attend in Brook, Vienna or other parts of the world.